welcome back to Fallout 3. So, I went and double checked that run, and I just did. Make sure it worked. Before we moved on, and it did. It went through the whole thing. Looks like it's pretty good, the whole thing. So I just wanted to say that it's good. You know, you're, it's going to be hard to explain otherwise, but... So I'm just going to tack this one on to the front of the the next run that I did. I already complete because I've already completed this area, and uh, just had so much trouble with that first the first area right there. I don't know why. I, know I had so much trouble with that. The frame rates just were a mess. It just wouldn't work. So anyway, what you see right after this, right after I get done talking, is I think there's like two videos to the end game here. So, enjoy! We are currently at Erringer's Air Force Base in the Broken Steel DLC. We were, we're in the air control tower now. We've opened the door to the... What is it called? The Mobile Platform. And we have to go in there. That place is crazy maze-like. It's huge. It's almost as huge as this map out here inside the place. And the team is bombing everything out here, so maybe not. We gotta go. There's the mobile platform. That's where we gotta go. So, let's see. Let's see who we can take out from up here. My, uh... Chinese stealth armor is dead <laughs> after that last uh, that last insanity where I got trapped by some shipping containers trapped in some shipping containers and got assaulted by about six enclave and they still couldn't kill me couldn't get to me it was pretty funny that's probably my best video yet that was that was a lot of fun so anyway we're heading down there Might have to take out a few guys yet. I don't know if my boys cleared the way 100% or not. Nope. And that guy's looking the wrong direction, so we need to take him out. A little sniper rifle action, maybe. Is he too far away? Yeah, he's pretty far away. Okay, let's get down. These guys, there still might be someone down here, too. Maybe not. Yes, no? No, we're good. I still see something. Oh, that's going to be a turret up there. I think we're okay with that, though. We'll be out of the line of fire of that. There's a guy right there, too. Let's use their own little hidey hole on him. That guy, he's still pretty far away. Yeah, he's still pretty far away. And what about this guy? He's pretty far away too. Let's go this way. Around these trucks. Let's get this guy here. That guy's pretty far away too. We might draw a crowd if we start sniping people, but that's, you know, that's just the way it is. Here, this guy, he's looking right at me. This guy here, he's pretty far away. Okay, let's go this way. I was kind of surprised we got that guy. One shot, a headshot on that guy. I might try to take that guy out over there, too. Yeah, we can get this guy when he comes back this way.
Alright, maybe these guys. No. There's the way in, right there, that ramp. What's he got on him? Anything good? Enclave power armor. I wonder if I can use that to repair my T-51. Let's check it real quick. Yeah, I know I'm over encumbered. I have found nothing to repair my T-51 with. Nope, doesn't work. <laughs> All right, that doesn't work. Did I get all the rest of his stuff, though? His ammo and shit? Let's see. I think I did. I was pretty naked. Uh, I did not. What is my... Power armor condition. That's not really great either, is it? No, it's not. Shit. I should have brought my other armor with me, too. Die. Uh, he's pretty twitchy. Got him, though. Something up ahead here. guys up ahead maybe or they could be on a platform up above I'm not sure can I, can I get that guy let's look I looks like I can uh... I just knocked him down that's a sucky thing If he comes for me. Weapon's hot. Come on, dude. There he is. So that's kind of cool. It looked like the bullet was disintegrated by that field over there. First shot I did, kind of missed him. Let's see, Hellfire Armor. I noticed some twitchiness in the frame rate again. Man, that's irritating. Somebody this way, too. All right, we're going up. This place is nuts. And there's death claws roaming around in here too. Destroy the Enclave mobile platform with an orbital strike. Okay, yeah, all right, okay. All right, first off, I've got to disable this field. Repulsion field. Set a timed charger. Smash the control panel. Uh, let's just turn it off. I don't want to. Because I'm a pretty smart guy. Well, let's look at the local map on this thing show us much but it is huge and there's like I don't know three or four floors in here like I was saying the last time I was in here I had Fox with me which I didn't think about bringing him he's a he's a good guy to have in this area but he gets in the way as usual what the hell
playing the Sigma leader. Sigma. Did I trip a wire or something that uh, aggroed those guys? Uh, let me see how many grenades I got left. Only six. Huh? I guess I better maybe hang on to those a little bit. Seven nuka grenades. Let's go back to frag grenades. We got a lot of them. Start pelting guys with those things, I guess. A heavy incinerator. Sigma leader, what's he got? Anything good? You guys all have bottles of whiskey at them, that's pretty funny. Yeah, I'm just really sorry I didn't grab my other armor. I didn't think about that. Let's see, I don't know I want to go that way it looks like. What's this? Activate repulsion field control panel so I can set up a field here. This says launch pad. That's where we want to go, I think, the launch pad. So I don't know why this thing's telling me to go this way. <coughs> Where's the map showing? Yeah, I gotta go that way, supposedly. Alright, for something. Turn this off, see what's in here. Get some stuff. They call it a repulsion field. Oh, that's what that noise was. They turned off the field so they could come through, so they can't just walk through the field themselves. Enclave power armor and power helmet. Well, you know what? What if I swap damage resistance of 20? This isn't even as good as what I've got. Right, but I could. I could fix it up. That means I'd have to offload a bunch of stuff. Uh, junk probably. Let's get rid of a bunch of junk. I'm gonna offload it here somewhere. And not come back and get it probably. We're just going to get rid of miscellaneous stuff that I know I don't need. Cartons of cigarettes. Conductors. Lunchbox. Everything I don't need. Medical clipboard. Why do I have that? Scrap metal. Should I unload that? That's 25. Let's see where we are. See where we are when we get to that point. Um, ammo doesn't weigh, weigh anything. Um, let's go. I'm still at 203. Quantums. You don't want to get rid of quantums or cokes. But you know what? I kind of need to keep those things. Those other things. If I find, I have two quantums. So I need to keep. I wish I could possibly end up with three quantums. I need to keep three kin cans. And, uh, well, I only got two. So I got two turpentine. But I don't have any Abraxa, do I? So that doesn't work either. So we can't really make one. I might find some, though. So we're going to keep that. Um, I think we're just going to dump the scrap metal, too. Yeah, I don't have any stealth boys, do I? No. 
All right, so let's go grab some ammo. Let's do this. This is going to be what we're going to do. We're going to grab this. Oh, crap. Missiles. I don't need missiles either, but they don't weigh anything, so... Gatling laser. Sniper rifle. We will do two sniper rifles, so we will take that. Plasma grenades. You know, I suppose those could come in handy if I run out of other grenades. What's the damage on those? Let's look at that. I'm developing a plan here, so stick with me. <laughs> Plasma grenades. Yes, those do some good damage. That could be a good substitute for my... And we got some psycho. But I don't need to buff out. So the plasma grenades are a good substitute for now for the nuka grenades. They don't. Oh, I'm not picking up scrap metal, dumbass. Drop that. We got turpentine. Do I have any Abraxo here? Man, look at all this good junk I gotta pass on. I'm jonesing. Having withdrawals. I can't do this. I can't walk away from all this junk. There's some Abraxo. Good. So if I run into a workbench. What's that down there? If I run into a workbench, I can maybe make. A couple of Nuka grenades. All right, let's get this guy's armor over here. What kind of armor are we looking for? Enclave power armor. Okay. Enclave power armor. Yeah, I know I'm over encumbered. We're gonna we're gonna do what we can do with that. Let's see what that does for us. See if we can power armor. Yeah, 35, that's going to help. So that's 8, and 35 is 44. Yeah, that'll work for now. And that gives me strength, agility, and rad resistance. Negative agility, plus 1 in strength. Okay. So we're going to start using these guys' armor against them. There's plenty of armor here. Um, workbench. That's what we need to find is a workbench. What's here? What's that? Another ophthalmologist. Another scope. Alright. Agility is down, so that's going to impede my sneak, right? Let's see. going to impede my charisma too and I'm on, I have jet withdrawal so that impedes my charisma also um, sneak sneak and small guns are down just a little bit we don't know how much though because they're over they're over a hundred already so why is my small guns down because of agility Yes. Okay. We're not collecting junk. What's my what's my carry weight right now? They're still not bad. Wait a minute, how many uh I'm screwing up here. I have the ability to maybe make three Nuka Grenades if I find a couple more Nuka Colts. So let's grab another Abraxo. Right, that gives me three Abraxos. 
And I need another turpentine, which was over here. If I find a workbench. I don't know if there's any workbenches in here anywhere or not. Where was that turpentine? I just need one more turpentine. It was here somewhere. What? There it is. Just one. Okay, we're good. And first aid. We can always use first aid. Alright. Let's do a save. So I don't have to mess with that anymore. Alright. Let's move on. Now, I still think we got to go up those stairs. I think this area is cleared. I have to go up those stairs where those guys came from. Pretty sure I do. Wait, wait. We can go talk to this guy. He's going to help us out, I think. Dude. Hey. Give me a hand. Oh man, don't hurt me. I just work here. I know. What you doing down here or up here? I, uh, really? Work on the robots. I fix them up. I saw what you did before you got in the base. You're not gonna hurt me, are you? Wasn't planning on it. Oh, thank goodness. I'm You're just sticks. gonna want to get off this platform <laughs> before the shit goes to hell. I wonder if you could answer a few questions. Let's see. Man. I'm glad you realize I'm not one of the bad guys. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Uh, what type of well, defenses are upstairs? Well, just above us is a Death Claw research facility. Most of the Death Claws are out fighting, but there might be one or two left. There are also a okay. bunch of robots in the facility, and they're all controlled through the mainframe. There are mainframe. also some military types left, but not nearly as many as there used to be. How do I get to the satellite well, tower? The satellite tower is right on top of the base. I'm sure you saw it before you came in. You're going to have to make it to the central control area before you can get on top of the launch platform. Once you're on top of the platform, you're probably going to have to make your way past a bunch of soldiers before you get to the tower. You were really helpful. <laughs> you're really helpful. Why should I trust you? <laughs> I've been trying to get out of here for a while. See, I've done things for the Enclave. Things I can't say I'm proud of. But a man's got to eat. When the Enclave picked me up, I was starving and suffering from radiation poisoning. I felt I owed him. Now, now it's time to leave. I say you better get off this platform. While I make off with a few robots and supplies. I help you, and you help me. Good luck out there, Stiggs. It was nice meeting you, but I have to get while the getting's good. Maybe you I'll better. See you Come we'll on, see Sparky. Sparky and Hoover. <laughs> Sparky and Hoover. So you got a workbench here? That would be nice. Let me look. Okay, there's some shit in there. We can turn that off. He's got a workbench here. What kind of a shop is this without a workbench? That's empty. Too much stuff to leave. Let's go look behind the... What do they call it? These bots probably got stuff. Can I go steal their stuff? I can. I'm glad our ammo doesn't weigh anything. Jet withdrawal too. Huh? What's that? An efficient battery. Don't want that. Okay, this is a what? Supply. Maybe a workbench over there. 
the repulsion field. That's what it's called. Is there a workbench here? No. Damn. Uh, what do we got here? Psycho. That's good stuff. No medex though. Take the mentas. Those are just for sale. Take as much first aid as we can get. What's that? Jet? We're addicted to jet, so we gotta take that. There's a stem pack and. Rad X. I don't really need any more Rad X. But we'll take it since it's right here. And right away, those are all whiskeys, okay. Too heavy, too much heavy stuff. Alright, let's go to the other... Blast shield. Which was... Let's see, where was it? Um, where does that go? Launch platform, okay. So that must be the way to go. Um, I know what a little marker says over there somewhere. Let's go turn off this little field here. Still looking for a workbench. Can't believe he ain't got one in here somewhere. There is one right there. <laughs> but I need a couple more colas. I can make six more grenades, which is be handy. Cherry bombs. Uh, I'll take that. Yeah, a couple more. Well, I can make six. I can make six nuka grenades, I think. Um, is there a bottle cap mine here? There is not. Alright, let's activate the workbench. Let's make some nuka grenades. So, that gives us six of them. There's lunch boxes here. Lots of lunch boxes. We're gonna leave them. Alright, that was helpful. That was very helpful. So that gives us uh, 14 nuka grenades. That's usually pretty good. Let's see. 13. Hmm, okay. Well, that's better than 7. Alright, so we gotta go where those guys came in at. I guess, I don't know. Let's see something. Air Force Base, Launch Platform Base, Launch Platform Base. So we can go either way. It says I want to go this way. Why does it want to go out to? Why does it want to go outside? Oh, game, game! Destroy the Enclave mobile platform with an orbital strike. Yeah, I gotta go. Well, I gotta go up one of those two steps. So this thing is kind of weird. All right, let's go up here. We're close to this one. Warning: live death claw to launch pad. <laughs> Maybe the other way is better to go. Of course, if they had head head pieces out, they're not gonna bother me. High security clearance. Okay, I got it. Set at that's over here, so we can go through the death claws or go this way. Either way, we got to go up this. We got to get up there.
dormitory. What kind of condition is my laser pistol? And it's in pretty good condition. What kind of damage is that doing? That's doing 73, which is pretty good. This is doing 76. Tesla cannon! I should drop that, but it, oh, it's got a lot of value to it. Didn't weigh that much. Eight. Ah, oh, well, there's Sydney's, which is doing pretty good, too. Got a lot of ammo for that. Oh, wait, let's upgrade our sniper rifle. Where's it at? Or repair it. Okay. So we have... Plasma grenades do a lot of damage. Pulse grenades don't do a lot of damage. So I could drop those things, too. That's like... Uh, five pounds. Yeah, I will hang on to them because if I run out of grenades, who knows? And Lincoln's repeater is doing some pretty good damage. Combat shotgun. Okay, that's good to have. We can fix up a shotgun. Where is it? All right, that brings that up to 82. Very nice. I didn't realize I had those weapons on board. That's okay. All right, let's do it. So let's call it a video right here before we go into that way. And then we'll head in and fight whatever's on the other side of that door. So if you're watching, thanks for watching. See ya.